Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're talking about the ultimate checklist for NVIDIA Shield TVs and any other Android TV setup. I've got some great tips and tricks to share with you, including the must turn off settings to stop being tracked and then maximizing your device's speed. So these are the initial steps you need to take to get the most out of your device and keep it running smoothly. So sit back, grab a snack and let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok, let's start off by going into settings. So scroll across, go to the settings cog, click on it and then scroll down to device preferences, select that and then the first thing we're going to do, scroll down all the way down to usage and diagnostics, click on that and we want to turn this off, usage and diagnostics. So this automatically sends diagnostic information to Google like crash reports and usage data from your device, apps and Chromecast built in. So you can adjust these permissions at any time. Now this is going to send information about what you're watching, how long you're watching it for. Now do we want to send that to Google? No we don't. So we're going to turn that off. Now back on the device preferences menu, scroll down all the way down to the home screen. And the first thing we're going to do is disable enable video previews and enable audio previews. Now what these do is actually use your device resources and your network bandwidth to play you adverts and trailers which we don't really want to see and it's going to slow down your device so we need to switch those off and end of the day it's just using extra resources Now the other setting we can turn off here is location settings and the only thing i can think of that's going to use location settings here of course is google here as we can see and weather apps which we can set manually to our location so we don't really need them automatically knowing our location. In fact, we don't need any app knowing our location. So we can turn this off. Click on it, turn this off. Simple. Okay, back on device preferences, head on up to storage, click on it. And here we need to make sure that scan for media automatically is turned off. And it even says connected storage will be scanned for media, may decrease performance when enabled. So we don't want that definitely. So turn this off. Now above that we've got internal shared storage. Now of course make sure you do have enough storage otherwise your system is not going to operate properly. So let's go in and check this out. So in here we can look at our apps. Make sure we delete the apps we're not using. And here we can see I'm using 9.1 gigabytes. So let's have a look at these apps. So here we can look at the app permissions, special app accesses and security and restrictions on these apps. So let's go in and have a look at the app permissions. Now app permissions, five of the five apps are allowed phone access which really they don't need. Four out of four apps are allowed files and media access and two of three apps are allowed microphone access. So we can delve in deeper, have a look at these. Now phone access is given to Skyforce, which is a game. That doesn't need that. So let's click on that. And we're gonna don't allow that. So we click on don't allow. Okay, come back out. And the rest, I think we're okay with the rest having access to phone. Now of course you could create an account, especially just for Android devices. So you could have a separate account for Android devices and a separate account for your phone. So you'd bypass this problem. Okay, coming out of there, we can see what apps have files and media access. So if we click on that, game, we've got Skyforce, we've got Gallery, we've got Google Play. Now all these might legitimately need access to media permissions. So this is all fine, I'm happy with this. Microphone, let's see what apps need access to microphone. Google Play Store, yeah. Gboard, of course. So that's all fine, I'm happy with that. Let's come out of there. Okay, if we head on back up to the top, we can go down to special app access. And here we can see what apps have usage access. So if we look at these, you can see usage access allows an app to track which other apps you're using and how often, as well as your operator, language settings and other details. So it allows other apps to see what other apps you are using. So of course we don't want that. Astrolite is a game. Why would they need access to other apps? So I've already switched that one off. So make sure you scroll down here and check apps you don't want this access allowed. Okay, so the next setting we're gonna look at in apps is security and restrictions. So select it. And what we wanna look at here is unknown sources. Now this is important as it allows installation of apps from sources other than the Google Play Store. And why is this important? Well, it allows apps like Downloader to install apps from places other than the Google Play Store. And you might ask, what is Downloader? Well, Downloader allows you to install apps from other places other than the Google Play Store. It allows you to jailbreak your device. So as you can see here, I've got it switched on for Downloader. So it's allowed to install apps. And also I've got it switched on for Puffin TV because sometimes you want to download on the browser. And really just have a look down here and see what other apps need access and which don't. 
Okay, so if we head on over to the main menu again, go back up, get to the device preferences section. And if we go down from here to system, the other thing I want to look at is processor mode. So if we go down, processor mode, currently on max performance, we select it, we've got two options, max performance and optimize. So max performance mode, this mode sets the performance at maximum, providing the best performance for your demanding tasks such as gaming or running resource intensive stuff. So it's great for streaming. And we've also got optimize. Now this is a balanced type of mode and this mode performs at power efficiency, making the device more energy efficient while still providing adequate performance for most of your tasks. So depending on what you're going to be using your Nvidia Shield for, set this appropriately. Now, if you do set this mode to maximum performance, there's another setting you should really change, and that is the fan mode. So if it's in quiet, let's put it to cool. So that'll make sure that when the processor is running at its maximum speed, it's going to be cooled down, making sure that it's going to be running smoothly and it's not going to throttle. Now, this next setting I'm going to show you is a secret setting that not everybody has got access to. So if you look at my device preferences menu at the moment, you can see I've got a load of settings. And at the bottom it's factory reset and then above that it's accessibility now this new setting is going to end up being here at the bottom but to get access to it we need to go back to the top click on about and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and then on build click on this about seven times and you'll see a little message pop up you are now one step away from being a developer click it once more and you are now a developer so now if we go back to the top and if we scroll down to the bottom you see we've got a new menu option here developer options and if we select it you can see enable developer options, put that enabled. Now one of the things you can do here is speed up your NVIDIA Shield. And to do this, what we do is go down to the bottom until you get to this option here, which is Windows Animation Scale and Transition Animation Scale and Animation Duration Scale. So what these three settings do is actually control the time it takes your menus to appear and disappear. Okay, so currently uh, Windows Animation Scale is set to one times, the Transition Animation Scale is set to one times, and the animated duration scale is set to one times. Now to make your system feel a lot faster, we can change these settings. And what we do is go into them and we actually half the speed, go to 0.5 times, change the transition animation scale to 0.5 times, change the animated duration scale also to 0.5 times. And straight away, you can see how quick the menu seem to be transitioning. Now you could also turn it off. That would make it really quick, but it looks a bit unrealistic. So that's definitely a good tip to use if you want to speed up your, your transitions between menus and make your NVIDIA Shield feel faster. So guys, hope these tips and tricks help you get the most out of your NVIDIA Shield TV. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tech, tips and tricks. Until next time, keep on streaming.